Hey there! Here at the Carter County Museum, we have a lovely taxidermy hall, and lately we've been wanting to add some insects, so that is what we're doing today. All these bugs that I'm mounting for the museum are species that can be found in Montana, but I actually ordered these online. And I would usually keep them in these little envelopes that they came in for the hydration process, but man oh man these are pretty and I really wanted to show them off. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting that one open, but oh, yep, there's some broken bits, but that is a-okay. I can fix that later. So starting from the left, we have a yellow sheep moth, then we have a pink twin-eyed sphinx moth, and then we have a swallowtail butterfly. Oh, and we got some 10 line June bug beetles. Oh, we lost another foot. That's okay. And I got these tiny bumblebees. They're called Hunt's bumblebees and aren't they the cutest thing you've ever seen? I've never used this method for hydrating insects, but it seems pretty slick, so I'm gonna give it a try. I am going to fill this syringe with warm water, and then I'm going to inject it directly into the abdomen. And once a few drops of water actually come out of the abdomen itself, that's when I know when to stop. Oh, and this one, I can tell, is gonna be tricky. That's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. I can fix that later. Now it's time for the hydration chamber. So I have placed this damp towel in there and the butterfly, another damp towel, and I'll place the other two on top. This is a really gentle way to hydrate. And I'll place these teeny tiny bees on top because I think they're going to be the most fragile. One more damp cloth. And then I will seal the container for a day or two. Now, because beetles are physically more robust, they can be hydrated in a different way. So I have just poured some hot but not boiling water into this Tupperware and I'll place the beetles directly into it. I'm gonna let that butterfly and those moths hydrate for a day or two, and then the beetles themselves will only take about an hour. Join me next time where I will be pinning all of the insects. Thank you guys for watching.